For the longest time, the world talked about green hydrogen as if it were a promise that always lived just slightly out of reach. It was clean, it was powerful, and it was the missing link in decarbonizing heavy industry, shipping, aviation, fertilizers, steel, and long-haul transportation. But the truth was simple. We could not produce green hydrogen at the scale the world needed. Electrolyzers were too small, too expensive, too slow to deploy, and too fragmented across dozens of technologies and suppliers. Everyone knew hydrogen had potential, but nobody could show how to get from a few megawatts to gigawatt scale production. Until now. Because something enormous just happened. One gigawatt electrolyzers are here. Not in theory, not on PowerPoint slides, not as pilot projects, but as real orders, real factories, real contracts, and real deployments. And this shift is so big, so transformative, that it may reshape the next 30 years of global energy. To understand why one gigawatt electrolyzers matter, you have to understand the situation the world was stuck in. Global hydrogen demand is around 95 million tons per year, almost all from fossil fuels. Green hydrogen was supposed to replace that, but replacing even 1% of global hydrogen with green hydrogen requires about 10 gigawatts of electrolyzer capacity. And until recently, the biggest electrolyzer plants were 10 megawatts. That means the world needed a thousand-fold scaling and had no realistic path to get there. Developers were waiting for cheaper equipment. Investors were waiting for lower risk. Governments were waiting for market certainty. It was a global stalemate. Then something changed. The pressure became too big to ignore. Climate deadlines tightened, heavy industries ran out of decarbonization options, and governments realized green hydrogen was not optional. It was inevitable. But they also realized hydrogen only becomes competitive at massive scale. Suddenly, developers were no longer asking for 10 megawatt systems. They wanted 100 megawatts, then 200 megawatts, then 500 megawatts, and eventually projects were being announced that needed over one gigawatt of electrolyzer capacity. The industry had never seen demand jump this fast, and that demand forced electrolyzer manufacturers to evolve quickly. This is where the task becomes clear. Build electrolyzers so big, so modular, and so scalable that gigawatt-scale hydrogen becomes possible. Not in 2040, not in 2035, but now. The companies that could solve this would define the next industrial era. Those that couldn't would be left behind. And so began the global race, a race between titans like Plug Power, Tyson Krupp Nusra, Nell Aesa, Siemens Energy, John Cockerell, and Chinese manufacturers scaling faster than anyone predicted. A race not for customers, but for megawatts, a race to prove that hydrogen can be produced at oil and gas scale with renewable energy at a cost competitive with fossil fuels. One of the first major breakthroughs came from Europe. Developers began planning giant green hydrogen and green ammonia projects in the North Sea region. Projects like H2 Energy Europe's mega project in Denmark. It required one gigawatt of electrolyzer capacity, and after an intense competitive process, Plug Power was selected to deliver the equipment. This was Plug Power's largest electrolyzer deal ever, and it marked a turning point, not only for the company, but for the entire industry. For the first time, a Western manufacturer was delivering electrolyzer capacity measured in gigawatts, not megawatts. And it showed the world that gigawatt-scale hydrogen was not science fiction. It was being ordered, it was being built, it was happening. Meanwhile, Tyson Krupp Nucera moved aggressively into the same space. Their alkaline electrolyzer systems were already massive, and their large cell architecture made scaling easier. So, when Progressive Green Solutions announced its green iron project in Western Australia, requiring around 1.4 gigawatts of electrolysis capacity, Nusra was selected as the preferred supplier. This project alone is big enough to shock the global hydrogen market. It produces hydrogen at a scale that can feed green iron production, turning a carbon-intensive industry into a zero-carbon one. And more importantly, it proves the world that electrolyzers can scale to industrial demand. But that was only the beginning. Across the Middle East, gigawatt-scale green hydrogen and green ammonia projects began emerging at an unprecedented pace. NEOM's project in Saudi Arabia includes 
2.2 gigawatts of electrolyzer capacity supplied by ThyssenKrupp. Oman's green hydrogen strategy includes multiple gigawatt clusters. The UAE is integrating gigawatt-scale electrolyzers into its green aviation and export plans. And as these nations race to become the world's hydrogen exporters, their appetite for electrolyzer capacity grows with each announcement. Countries with cheap solar and wind, vast land and strong industrial ambitions are becoming global hydrogen powerhouses and their demand signals are causing electrolyzer manufacturers to expand factories, double production lines, and rethink their entire manufacturing ecosystem. In China, the action is just as intense. Massive electrolyzer factories have opened, producing at a pace unmatched anywhere else. Some regions are planning hydrogen clusters exceeding 500 megawatts just for local industries. The result? China's manufacturing scale is driving down costs faster than analysts predicted. And this is what accelerates everyone else because it forces Western suppliers to innovate, automate, and reduce costs to stay competitive. This global race is not only about scale, it's about cost, speed, and reliability. The real action, however, lies in manufacturing. Electrolyzer companies realize that to meet gigawatt-scale demand, they must transform from engineering firms into industrial producers. That means automated stack production, containerized modular systems, standardized balance of plant, integrated power electronics and supply chains big enough to handle gigawatts per year. Manufacturers that used to produce dozens of megawatts per year now aim for thousands. Factories that once assembled custom systems now mass-produce modular units like automotive parts. It is a reinvention of the electrolyzer industry. Plug Power shifted their entire strategy to match this new reality. Instead of trying to be a full-stack hydrogen empire, building hydrogen plants, distribution networks, and fueling systems, the company pivoted hard toward becoming a global electrolyzer supplier. It stopped focusing on building its own production plants and instead prioritized selling large-scale electrolyzer systems into international markets. This is exactly what hydrogen markets needed, a dedicated, focused, high-volume supplier. Plug Power now operates more like a global hardware manufacturer, selling the core engine of the hydrogen economy while letting developers handle the rest. This shift aligns perfectly with the one gigawatt revolution and opens the door to profitability by 2028. Nell Asa also doubled down on its strategic pivot. Its Hiroya facility, one of the most advanced automated electrolyzer factories in the world, is scaling rapidly. The company wants to supply gigawatts of alkaline electrolyzer stacks annually, delivering systems faster and cheaper than earlier generations. Their standardization strategy, mass-producing stack modules like battery cells, is a major contributor to global cost declines. And in a world that needs millions of tons of green hydrogen, cost reduction matters more than anything else. Siemens Energy has taken a different approach. Instead of relying on alkaline technology, it is pushing proton exchange membrane systems, PEM, at large scale, optimizing them for flexible operation with renewables. Their partnership with Air Liquis on the Giga Factory for Electrolyzers in France demonstrates their intent. Industrial scale, low cost and high reliability. Siemens Energy wants to position PM systems as the gold standard for hydrogen integrated with variable renewable power. And if they succeed, they could dominate certain segments of the hydrogen market, especially those requiring rapid response, dynamic loads and flexible switching. As these companies scale up, something extraordinary begins to happen. The cost of green hydrogen starts to fall. Not in projections, not in models, but in real contracts. Developers now speak of green hydrogen at $2 per kilogram by the end of the decade. Some regions with cheap renewable power even predict sub $1 hydrogen by 2035. These numbers were once unthinkable. They required miracle level cost declines. But the miracle is happening through scale. When electrolyzers are manufactured at gigawatt level volumes instead of tens of megawatts, everything changes. And here's the result of all these actions coming together. For the first time, the world has a clear path to producing green hydrogen at oil refinery scale. One gigawatt electrolyzers can support large industrial clusters, green ammonia export terminals, green steel mills, 
synthetic fuel plants, and national hydrogen hubs. They can feed pipelines, run heavy trucks, power ships, and replace fossil hydrogen at fertilizer plants. They can anchor new energy economies in regions rich in wind and solar. They can reduce geopolitical energy risk. They can decarbonize industrial processes that no other technology can touch. It is not an exaggeration. One gigawatt electrolyzers can change everything. The next five years will be defined by which countries deploy these systems fastest. Europe wants to lead and is building hydrogen valleys across Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, and Portugal. The Middle East wants to dominate export markets. China wants manufacturing leadership. The U.S. wants domestic energy independence and industrial growth tied to the IRA hydrogen hubs. Australia wants to become the world's green ammonia exporter. India wants hydrogen to power its steel, transport, and fertilizer industries. Everyone wants a piece of the hydrogen future, and gigawatt electrolyzers are the entry ticket. But behind all these movements, one truth remains. Hydrogen's rise is not just about technology. It's about strategy, execution, and timing. The companies supplying electrolyzers today will be the energy giants of tomorrow. The developers building one gigawatt projects will shape the new global trade flows. The governments investing early will become leaders in the decades ahead. And the world will look back on this moment as the turning point. The moment hydrogen stopped being a promise and became a scalable industry. If you want to understand these dynamics, if you want to build, model, or evaluate real green hydrogen projects, you need the right tools. You need feasibility templates, LCOH models, electrolyzer planning sheets, and structured frameworks used by developers around the world. You can find all of these at h2hub.renaeenergy.com, where professionals, consultants, and investors get the resources they need to navigate hydrogen's next decade. Because the era of gigawatt-scale hydrogen is here, and the world is about to change because of it.